Uh, Moscow says only the UN Security Council alone can authorise the use of force against Syria, warning against unilateral action. Let's get some live comment on this from Lawrence Freeman. He's from uh, Executive Intelligence Review magazine. He's joining us on the line from Washington, D.C. Lawrence, good evening. Thanks for being with us. Now, Obama says the use of chemical weapons in Syria would be a red line for military intervention. Are we close to any of that? And if military intervention did happen, would it sideline the UN? Well, you have to look at the history of this, that you have uh, President Obama is now in a very forward motion uh, mode of activity to start a war uh, in Syria or support a war in Iran. And, and for this reason, he should be removed legally from office. He should have been removed earlier. What is being said now is exactly what we saw in the scenario leading up to the Iraq war. Remember Tony Blair. 2002, the Downing Street dossier, uh, Saddam Hussein could have nuclear weapons hit Europe in 45 minutes. This was picked up by President Bush in his State of the Union address, and then we had this as the excuse to go to war. We saw the same thing in Libya. So this is a pretext. There's the, the idea that we should move 50 to 60,000 troops into Syria to protect weapons, chemical weapons, is a pretext for overthrowing the government. And that's why, Osama, uh, that's why President Obama uh, really should not be president anymore at this point. Yeah, indeed. Damascus insists it would never use um, weapons like this. D Damascus itself saying it's, it's a pretext, kind of along the lines of what you're saying uh, now. All right, well, Moscow's warned that the U.S. and its allies uh, should not go with democracy by bombs, as it's put it. But who could stop them? After all, Washington and its allies moved in on Iraq and Libya without full sanction as well, didn't it? Well, right now, I think Russia is playing a, a very positive role. In fact, they're really saving all of us because they have made very clear that they will not support it an operation that goes around the U.N. and with the, the Lavrov called bomb diplomacy. And so they have threatened the world essentially with defending themselves with nuclear weapons, and this has actually backed off the Obama, uh, Susan Rice, Tony Blair crowd, as well as people in our own Joint Chiefs of Staff, such as General Dempsey. But on the other hand, Obama is a Nero-type uh, personality. He's a little bit crazy, and he cannot be ruled out that he will take a crazy action prior to the election or even the Democratic Convention. Uh, Moscow, for its side, still believes there's a, a chance of, of reaching peace. It's our top story today. Um, judging by what you're saying, though, it's, it's a foregone conclusion that's not going to happen? It's not foregone, but we're dealing in very dangerous times. I mean, most people going into the election in the United States and even in Europe now coming back from their vacations, they do not understand how serious the world is right now. And if you look at Iran, you look at Syria, you look at now what's going on in Turkey, you look at the, the overall Palestinian question, you look at the crazies around Netanyahu, we could be seeing a war. And therefore, we should be taking action. And American citizens should be voicing very clearly that this president has got to go because he could start a war. And we've got to get some better presidential candidates on both the Republican and Democratic side. But we are living in very dangerous times. And I think everybody should take that quite seriously. Lawrence, thanks for your thoughts. Lawrence Freeman there from the Executive Intelligence Review magazine.